Hello students and hello teachers and welcome to my science online class. For today's topic, gamma rays under electromagnetic waves. This presentation is brought to you by DLSAU Farm. Gamma rays is a penetrating electromagnetic radiation arising from the radioactive decay of atomic nuclei. It consists of the shortest wavelength electromagnetic waves and so imparts the highest photon energy. So gamma radiation or gamma rays are high energy photons that are emitted by radioactive decay of atomic nuclei. So gamma radiation is very high energy form of ionizing radiation with the shortest wavelength. That's according to uh, Dr. Anne-Marie Helmenstein. Now, gamma radiation refers to the part of electromagnetic spectrum with the most energy and shortest wavelength. So, in our electromagnetic spectrum, gamma rays is located in this area. Astrophysicists define gamma radiation as any radiation with an energy above 100 kilo electron volt. Physicists define gamma radiation as high energy photons released by nuclear, nuclear decay. So using the broader definition of gamma radiation, gamma rays are released by sources including gamma decay, lightning, solar flares, matter, antimatter, annihil an annihilation. So the interaction between cosmic rays and matter and many astronomical sources. Gamma radiation was discovered by Paul Tillard in 1900s. So as you can see, the symbol for gamma radiation is this. Gamma radiation is used to study the universe, treat gemstones, scan containers, sterilize food and equipment, diagnose medical conditions, and treat some forms of cancer. So... According to the blogspot.com, we have four uses of radiation. First is gamma radiation kills bacteria in the food and increases shelf life. Short half-life gamma emitters are used to detect leaks in pipes. Rotating source of gamma rays is used in radiotherapy. And beta radiation is used to ensure sheets of paper or metal are the correct thickness. Gamma radiations, uh, gamma radiation rather, presents a significant health risk. So the rays are a form of ionizing radiation, which means they have enough energy to remove electrons from atoms and molecules. So they are radioactive. This GIF is from NASA. This is how gamma rays are generated. With uh, what the process, what we call particle, particle collisions. So in this illustration, so the gamma rays can penetrate paper, aluminum, while alpha rays can penetrate paper, while beta can penetrate paper but cannot penetrate with aluminum. So some natural gamma radiation sources, first is the gamma decay, Okay, which is already discussed a while ago. Antimatter annihilation. Lightning, where accelerated electrons of lightning produces what is called a terrestrial gamma ray flash. Solar flares. Cosmic rays. Gamma rays burst. And other astronomical sources. So this presentation is brought to you by DLSAU Farm, flexible, alternative, remote, modality of learning. Thank you for listening.